Hey, how are you doing? I am Geo. Welcome to the channel, or hopefully welcome back, because we're on episode four. Episode four of season three of The Mandalorian. Um, that's just halfway, right? That's the halfway point, right? And we should be back with Din Djarin in Grogu after our last episode's detour. Last episode, what happened? Um, we we'll start off with Bo-Katan totally like... Um, like, is she denying the mythosaur exists? Is she denying it to herself? Or is she just denying it to... Is she just not want to let him in on the fact that she saw it? That it exists, that it was there. That her idea of all being fairy tales, is, it's been destroyed now, right? Um, and then from there, right, we, so we'll leave um, Mandalore. They get attacked by TIE interceptors for some reason unknown who sent them why but the bomb the shit to her palace she's homeless then takes out the armor in the rest of the mandalorians right and because she didn't take off her mask she's allowed to join their cult temporarily you can stay here follow our rules live as your ancestors as did they said and then we take a side step to coruscant where Dr. Pershing, remember that guy, the, the fucking scientist guy, um, Guy Fawkes got to play with Grogu's DNA. As guy, he sort of joined Operation Paperclip, and now he's, 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 he's kind of working for the, the new alliance sort of thing, right? In the, he sort of gets manipulated, right, by Officer Kane, the ex, Gideon's ex, ex um, communications officer. He kind of gets, he's now twisted and uh, maybe he continues experiments, right? He just says, I'll help you. I know the ship, we've got some stuff, I can help you, we'll get get. It turns out it's a trap and she had set him up badly. Again, though, I had got more sympathy because if she could convince him to do that, right? Just convince him. One day I'm meeting him. Within one day I'm meeting him, she could convince him to go back to his old ways, then he wasn't really trustworthy enough anyway. If she could convince him, anybody could convince him. And then um if there are she she um for some reason she fried him, right? They were gonna do a little brain tickle just to give him an archery adjustment. And she turned it right up. No idea why. Is it vindictiveness? Is it for somebody who's done in the past? Or she just wanted to watch him suffer? She just wanted to watch somebody suffer. She needed to get out of her system. She needed to... But always, well, it's, um, always were a lot of detour. And then I guess this episode, we're back to the Mandalorians because this is called um, the Foundling. The Foundling is, of course... What the Mandalorians called a mocking issue. I don't got fucking clue what a phone thing is actually. I need to look up. But this is the phone thing. If it's a cut. Chapter 20. Chapter 20. Episode 4. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. This is it. And that's just training. Wait, they're training. Okay. Submission. Lord Grogu just chilling in the beach. Where is that? Oh, it's a sp it's a crab. It's a crab. Put down the rocks, kid. Rocks. It's time that you learn with the other foundlings. It's fucking crabs. And there's no foundling. Time's over. I'm gonna need you to focus. So you got to be a Mandalorian. For real. How to get a helmet over them lugs? Ears. How to get a helmet over those ears? Next challenger. 
Oh. Are you sure this is a good idea? If he is ever to rise from foundling to apprentice, he must learn. Judge. What weapon? Let the challenge decide. Darts. Darts. Bring the training darts. Mate, this guy seems too cocky. Right? This guy's far too cocky. He is too young to speak the creed, and so too young to wear a helmet. Then he's too young to fight. Shut up, you cocky old dick. One does not speak unless one knows. Is that not the creed? Yeah. Well, I know. Perhaps this lesson is for you then. Yeah. He seems like a dickhead that way. Keep your mouth shut, you can't speak it a minute. I just fucking didn't jar in. Each has three darts. You may fire the darts in any order. Each direct hit scores one point. A mark must be visible to score. One round, highest score wins. Begin! Begin! Point! Krogu, I've seen what you can do. It's okay. Show them. Oh, show them. Go on, Grogu. Begin! <laughs> Three points. Winner. There you go. Did you teach him that? Not me. Uh, one doesn't speak unless one knows. Yeah. And now you know. Now you fucking know. Oh shit. Did it get him? No blasters, it'll kill the child. Follow it to its lair. Can I fucking place this for living on? Fuck. Walk it on. Walk it on. I'm out of fuel. Fuck me. If it was like a two minute flight. Followed. So they said follow to his lair. And then they went, it always gets away. Like we've tried this heaps before. It never works. But we'll try it again. Because we're a bit slow. We always run out of fuel. It always gets away. It flew a long way. I will go get him. The mountains are too high. If we use jetpacks, the beast will hear. It would kill the child. What do you think he's got to do anyway? What do you think he's intended to do? Adopt him and bring him up as his own? Paz Vizla, enjoin the Shriekok training team to accompany you. I will pack extended lariats for your launchers. We must avoid explosives and blasters for the safety of the foundling. The foundlings have you fucking eaten by now. Come on. So you gotta keep it and fatten him up. Come, Grogu. If you wish to become a Mandalorian, there is much work to attend to. Mm. This is the forge. Mm. It is the heart of Mandalorian culture. Just as we shape the Mandalorian steel, we shape ourselves. This is... Mm. Hmm? Hmm? No. Holy shit. The fucking shot it. The Jedi Massacre. What scared he is, oh. Everything's gonna be alright, kid. Ooh, ooh. He looks bad, I'll say. See ya. Toodaloo.
I thought Grogu went back to um, Din before this happened. I thought he left Luke and went back before this. Or is my timeline just completely fucking out? See, I thought going back to Din Djarin was a way to get around this. Like how we he escaped S. Don't worry. We're going to meet up with some friends of mine. But hold on. It's going to be a bumpy landing. It is a tradition in our culture for each to donate a small portion of what they earn to the foundlings. It is with these scraps of Beskar that I forged your next piece of armor. Ooh. Mandalorian steel shall keep you safe as you grow stronger. You will grow into this rondelle as you grow into your station, Foundling Grogu. Foundling Grogu. Who the fuck is a rondelle though? I mean, look at it, it's fucking huge. He's happy so. Look, I'm so happy. Oh. We'll continue on foot from here. Any closer and it will hear the ship. No, I think Bo Katan is just taking a natural lead in their they're just following her. No questions. She's leading, they're following. The target is on the top of this peak. If we tuck in under this outcropping, we sleep out of line of sight and climb at first light. We will make camp. Right, does so anybody think us kids got dead by new thought? Like, what do they think it was kidnapped them for? Like, genuinely. What did they think? It couldn't hear kids of its own, so it just would one? Because you gotta bring them up normally as like a little dragon? How do you eat when other people are around? You don't. When you get your food, you go off to find a place. Or is it got a fucking your helmet? Eat him. Does anyone think it's just gotta take him? Back to cage and eat him. Or cave. Cave. So they gotta go like fucking You are the leader of the war party. You have the honor we'll wait till morning. This is the way. Yeah, just wait till morning. I'm sure it'll be alive, right? The raptor's lair is atop the highest peak. Now our hope is that the child is still alive, so we have to make sure not to fire on the oh, hope. Hope. Of course you'll be alive. Why would you be alive? It's only been like fucking twenty four hours, right? Find the kid. I see a heat source there. Wait until we clear the area. He's my son. Ragnar. 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 Of course it's Ragnar. Ragnar. Perfect name for mind loading, right? <laughs> Oh shit. Oh fuck. Does that not come quick bot though? The babies. Oh please. Oh please. Oh please, it's still alive. It's still alive. No way. Piss off. I knew it's got daddy. Bo-Katan, mate. Bo-Katan is a fucking G, ain't she? No, Dodd's safe, right? Fucking Din Djarin, well done. My one. And he gets eaten by a giant crocodile. Fan, right? Absolutely fan. Are you okay? No, mate. I'm a bit frazzled. Tell you the truth, though. I'm okay, Dad. Fucking took you so long. Thank you. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. I'm calling bullshit, though. The whole thing.
He just looks different, right? Then Jara, he just looks fucking different. Looks amazing. Come on. Bo Katan Kreeze, you have honored your house and all of Mandalore. Mm. You have done the highest honor of the Creed, saving a foundling. Mm. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Go on, Bo Katan. Fair. Fair. Like, mate, like, okay, they could have trained him to ride him or something, but fucking hell. Or else cook him for dinner or something, but foundlings. I can replace what's missing, but not with its modern refinements. Shall I inlay the signet of the night owl? Mmm, Mrs. Sore. To wear one pauldron of the night owl and another with the mythosaur. Mythosaur. The mythosaur belongs to all Mandalorians. It is always acceptable to wear. I would like that. Well, I is badass, by the way. I have nice like that. What would you say if I told you I saw one? That you saw what? Mythosaur. A mythosaur. I would say you are very lucky. It is a noble vision. No. No, me. Well, that was decent, right? I was, um, I was chapter 20. I was so sort of fun, just pure fun, after the last episode was all about Mer serious but still his it, it didn't really progress this story right there's no even been much in the four episodes the story didn't progress much ah compared to the last two seasons um so that's the episode we see the the mandalorians training in the beach fighting and so they got krogu he's got to be trained as a phone lane Apparently he's gonna be like a Jedi, half Jedi, half Mandalorian, fucking badass beast. Um, and one of the younglings gets snatched by a dragon, right? And they, they, they flies away, and the the Mandalorians take off in their rockets. And uh, they run out of fuel, and they're like, "God damn it!" It always gets a while. Like we always do the same thing, and the same thing always happens, right? Like they just. How many young phonings has that fucking thing team? Because the guy says that's always happens. Like, we we'll always run out of fuel, but we'll just try it again anyway, right? Fucking. There must be a better way of doing it, right? One you just carry the other one halfway and then you swap. So your rockets could save. It doesn't matter. Well, anyway, um, yeah. So the go in, I think the most important part of this episode was how easily Bo Katan. Took control, right? Took the lead. And they followed her. It seemed natural. Right? They weren't really following her because her armor said so. They were following her. And she was had natural authority. They naturally followed her. They didn't care who the fuck Bo Katarn Kreese is. They didn't care. Mate, your house is not important to them. But they followed her leadership qualities and she got on back, right? And it was important. It was good. And then she tells Armour, oh, by the way, I saw this throw. Armour's like, of course you did. She's like, no, no, I did. I right, mate, I'm sure you did. Did you, I? Did you see him? Okay, mate. All right, Nibala, you keep fucking, you know. And I'm, so the last episode when she denied, well, when she never admitted to Din Djarin that she saw it, I was wondering if she was keeping it from him for a reason, but knew, you know, it seems like maybe it is. She wasn't admitting to herself, right? She wasn't admitting to herself that she saw it. She was always have a vision or something like that in deep dark water. It was, it was the situation, right? It was like, I was thinking of those things. If somebody said once, if you're going to a forest at night, and is it, if you think of wolves, if you stare at trees and you think of wolves, you'll see wolves running between trees, right? Because your mind is up to you. 
and they've been talking about with the source in stuff like that just beforehand in a deep water. She saw it, right? And maybe she thinks that she didn't. And then we see um, the only important part in this episode really was Grogu in the, the Jedi Temple, in the Jedi Temple massacre during Order 66, right? I had thought, right, now, I watched some Star Wars, right? But I'm nearly up. I watched some of their channels and the, the quality and the knowledge fucking astounds me. Our guy, Kyle Cartan, amazing, mate, amazing, mate. Just, just. The knowledge our guys got, he sees random stormtroopers, he's like, holy shit, it's F222. And yeah, the guy's a encyclopedia and it's brilliant. And, uh, but I've got no knowledge like that. I had thought that Grogu returned to Mando and uh, Boa Fett was um, so that he avoided. So they avoided them being in the Jedi Temple of your Order 66. It was their way around it, because that was the talking point. At the end of season two, was, oh no, if it's going to happen, he's got to be in the Jedi Temple during Order 66, and he's got to get fucking... But, and I thought him leaving to go train with Mondo again was their way around it, but apparently not. Apparently he was there, and he got saved. And I can't remember the guy's name, but I saved him. But it was the actor played George R. Binks, I know that. And uh, yeah, and he rest his life, he, he saved Grogu. And thank you for that, because he's a cute as fucking thing about. Um Yeah, that's, that's what I think. Like that was a fun episode. It wasn't had too too serious. It's like um bark parks and blasters and dragons and baby dragons and you know, just fun, right? It's a running gun and thing. And that was episode four. But that's halfway through this season. And outside of Din Djarin going and swimming in the waters, that's about that, right? That's really, really all we've done this whole season is that. That's that. Good odds. Um, push, like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you're feeling generous. And I will catch you for the next one, I hope.